If you're an aspiring filmmaker or content creator, your choice in lenses will have a profound effect on how you capture images. Most people start off with photography lenses because they are an affordable way to get cinematic quality from large sensor cameras. But the question of the day is, are cinema lenses better than photography lenses for video production? Let's take a look at various aspects of cinema and photography lenses to determine which type of lens is best for you. First, let's consider uniformity. Manufacturers release lenses and sets that share characteristics. However, this means different things in cinema and photography lenses. As an example, let's compare Sigma's art photography lenses with their high-speed cinema lenses. The high-speed cinema lenses feature uniform lens gear positions, front diameter size, focus throw distance, image quality, and lens characteristics. The Sigma art photography lenses feature similar aperture range, lens characteristics, and image quality. A set of cinema lenses is designed to have the same lens flares, chromatic aberration, lens breathing, and color rendition across the entire set. In these lens tests, you can see the high-speed cinema primes perform the same across the board. The Sigma Art Photography primes are very consistent as you switch from one lens to the next, but this is not the case for all photography lens sets. Some manufacturers will change their formula as they design new lenses. In addition to having uniform image quality, digital cinema lenses are also designed to have similar physical characteristics. Uniform lens gear positions and front diameter size makes it faster and easier to swap lenses when using accessories such as a follow focus or matte box. Photographers don't use that many accessories and sometimes don't even need multiple lenses, so you'll find that focus ring positions and filter sizes vary across the set. Most photography lenses have a short focus throw distance and an autofocus motor. The short focus throw lets the lens travel from its minimum focus distance to infinity faster than a cinema lens, and the autofocus, as its name implies, is automatic. That makes photography lenses better, right? Well, not necessarily. Short focus throw makes manual focus less precise on photography lenses. For example, let's say we have a subject that is a little more than 10 feet away. The Sigma Art Photography lens only gives you a few degrees of focus throw distance between 10 feet and infinity. Over or under shooting the target by a small amount will throw your subject out of focus. The High Speed Cinema Prime, on the other hand, gives you a lot of focus throw distance and measurements beyond 10 feet. Cinema lenses also feature hard stops, which make it much easier to use them with a follow focus. A follow focus is used to move cinema lenses focus ring quickly and accurately. The follow focus connects to the gears of a cinema lens to move the ring to the desired focus distance and often feature ways to set its own hard stops for rack focusing between two preset points. Photography lenses that have mechanically linked focus rings can be used with a follow focus, but it's a bit more challenging to set up for two reasons. First, photo lenses don't have a gear ring to connect to a follow focus. This can easily be fixed by purchasing one and attaching it. The more complicated issue is that photography lenses use focus rings that can turn past the ends of the focus range. This will render the follow focus inaccurate, so you'll want to set up your follow focus to prevent that from happening. Next, let's talk about aperture. The aperture on cinema lenses are measured in T-stops instead of F-stops. A T-stop, or transmission stop, is a measurement of how much light reaches the sensor. An f-stop, or focal length stop, on the other hand, is the focal length of the lens divided by the diameter of its opening. In a perfect lens, the t-stop and f-stop are the same. But in reality, not all light that enters the lens reaches the sensor, which means that f-stops are not as accurate as t-stops. Finally, cinema lenses have smooth apertures, allowing you to adjust the t-stop gradually instead of incrementally. We've gone over a lot of the reasons cinematographers love cine lenses for film and commercial productions. So now let's go over some of the strengths of photography lenses for other professionals, starting with size and weight. Photography lenses are typically smaller and lighter than cinema lenses. Each Sigma Art Photography Prime is about a pound lighter than their high-speed cinema counterpart. This adds up very quickly when you put together a set of lenses. If you're a one-man crew or a traveling videographer, photography lenses will save you a ton of space and weight when packing up your gear bag. Another advantage for still lenses is that they are designed to work intuitively without accessories. Photo lenses feel balanced when mounted on small cameras, making it easier to use them handheld. 
They also take advantage of camera's automatic features, enabling creators to concentrate on composition while the lens worked with the camera for autofocus and auto exposure. This is great for frugal content creators who don't have the budget for accessories or assistance, but it's also great for filmmakers who want to avoid attracting attention. So if your goal is to maintain a low profile, photo lenses are the way to go. Finally, hybrid shooters will usually lean more towards photo lenses than cinema lenses. If your goal is to have one set of lenses for both photo and video production, then photo lenses are more versatile. Photography lenses can use autofocus and auto exposure when you need it or disable it when you don't. Photography lenses can be outfitted with gear rings and other accessories to make them compatible with cinema tools, although to be fair, cinema lenses will always perform better. Cinema lenses, on the other hand, do not have auto capabilities, are bigger, heavier, more expensive, and while technically could be used for photography, are incredibly awkward to use. So, to recap, cinema lenses are typically manual lenses that excel in controlled environments where you can get multiple takes. They also excel when used by teams of people who can assign tasks like focusing to a dedicated operator. Cinema lenses are favored by content creators in the cinema and commercial industry, but they're not ideal for entry-level creators because they are bulky, expensive, and reliant on accessories to control effectively. Photography lenses, on the other hand, are optimized for individuals. They are easier to carry thanks to their size and take advantage of camera's automatic settings. They even make it possible for a camera to work autonomously in situations where the camera's out of reach or set up to capture a second angle. Last thing I wanna bring up is that not all lenses are clear cut in one realm or the other. There are many hybrid lenses that share characteristics of both photo and cinema lenses. Some photography lenses feature declickable aperture rings and some cinema lenses are relatively small and lightweight. The important thing to remember is that when you are building a set of lenses, there are more things to consider than just image quality. The lens you choose will make your life very easy or exceedingly complicated depending on your subject, control over your environment, and support at your disposal. What are your thoughts on the differences between cinema and still lenses? Do you have a favorite set of lenses? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Jabari with BNH. Have an awe-inspiring day.